So we are in day 11. Uh, this is a day where the treasurer will pass uh, Watling Street and our best uh, course of action needs to be decided. Um, the overlook is a good uh, is a good place for ambush. So let's uh, start the day and see what will happen. So, uh, the treasure has been sighted, the convoy of the treasure has been sighted, so we better call our team and uh, discuss strategies about uh, what is our best course of action in uh, gaining the treasure. So we find out that uh, we have to battle around 40, 40 men uh, plus the Baron. So so Will is suggesting that we concentrate all our fire from the Overlook. John is suggesting that uh, we will lose men in any case, uh, whatever whatever choice we we make. So John is suggesting that we try to be political and ask them to surrender, and if they don't, then we we proceed with an attack. Alan is suggesting that. Uh, that we should show our strength from the overlook and that we should uh, try and go full uh, <laughs> crusade on this, on this one. Hag is suggesting that we actually surprise them and we use the element of surprise to to ambush them and, and take them uh, over from uh, both the overlook and the far sides of the road. Now this is actually a very good strategy and will cost us no men and this is a correct strategy that we should follow. Now March unfortunately is giving a very bad advice that we round up some wild boars and drive them into the road. Now this might sound like a good idea but uh, you know the boars get uh, get scattered, we can't uh, round them up and at the end of the day if we follow much, uh, much's plan we will actually lose the treasure and we will not get uh, any ransom, any, any of the treasure. So, um, so the best choice in this situation is to follow tax advice, surprise and bush from both sides. This will give us the highest points. Um, it will not cost us anyone, we will not lose any, any of our men. So we see we have the, the men on the sides uh, chasing each other, we, we are fighting over from the overlook. People are dying. Uh, this is the Baron, so as soon as the Baron dies, um, Robin will sound the horn and people can actually uh, gain the treasure. So now we have 65,300 uh, marks, which is a uh, very good amount for covering the ransom to save uh, King Richard.
Now, the game can actually, I mean, King Richard will get saved either way, even if you don't raise any amount of ransom, but uh, if you don't raise any amount of ransom, that means that, uh, well, you will get a very bad ending for uh, Robin and his men. Well, at least for Robin. As I said, there are various variations that you can get in the ending, depending on how many, how much money you raise as ransom, how many outlaws you have left alive at the end, uh, if Lady Marian is alive or not, um, how well you did with treating people throughout the game, so whatever you do throughout the game actually uh, waits in your favor or against you at the end, uh, at the end of the game.